Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about addition of polynomials. This one is one of the series na pasok sa atin kung saan we will do operation on polynomials. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is that we will add these polynomials and apparently we have four different examples in this kind of video. So first, let me guide you on how to add these polynomials. Let's start with number one. In number one, we are asked 3x plus 2 plus 4x plus 6. As you can see, we have two given polynomials and baka ma-confuse kayo na sir, uh, it says here we need to add. Meron tayong parenthesis, meaning we need to multiply. No. This one is just a grouping wherein 3x plus 2 is the polynomial, the first polynomial, and 4x plus 6 is another polynomial. And as you can see, we have here this operation addition. So what we need here is to add them. So how to add the polynomials? What you need to do is first copy this one. I will do this vertically. So we have 3x plus 2. Then it will be added to another polynomial, 4x plus 6. So what we natin dito is we will align which terms are like terms. When we say like terms, they have the same variable and the exponent of variable. Again, they have the same variable and the exponent of variable. So here, in our next polynomial, 4x is or will be aligned to 3x. It will become 4x here at the bottom. Next, we have here a constant, so it must be aligned with the other constant. So this is plus 6. And then, we can add them. 3x plus 4x is 7x. Then, 2 plus 6 is 8. So this is plus 8. And this is now the answer for item number 1. Now let's continue with item number 2. We have two binomials here, or two polynomials. x squared plus 2 plus 2x squared minus 5. Now, first, first thing we need to do is to copy the first polynomial. We have x squared plus 2. Then it will be added here. We will align 2x squared with x squared because they are like terms since they have the same variable and exponent of the variable. So it will be put here 2x squared. Now as for negative 5, this one is also constant. It will be aligned answer under the, the constant of 2. So this is minus 5. Another thing pala guys, when you are doing addition of polynomials, make sure that you master the operations on integers because you will be using your knowledge on how to add, subtract, multiply, or divide integers. Here, x squared plus 2x squared is equivalent to 3x squared because here we have a coefficient of 1. Next, 2x2 plus negative 5 since the absolute value of 5 is bigger, we will put here negative 3. Since they have the different signs, we will subtract the numbers. 5 minus 2 is 3. And then, to copy the sign, we will copy the sign of the number with the biggest or the largest absolute value. And now the answer is 3x squared minus 3. Now let's continue with item number 3. For item number 3, we are given this one. So let me align first the, pipe, the paper. We are given the first polynomial 3x squared minus 8x plus 7. Copy this thing. We have 3x squared minus 8x plus 7. Plus, this one will be aligned under 3x squared. This is 2x squared minus 6x minus 6x here. And then plus 2. 
So here, add them all. 3x squared plus 2x squared is 5x squared. Next, negative 8x plus negative 6x, we have negative 14x. And lastly, we have 7 plus 2. This is plus 9. As you can see, as simple as that, we can add these polynomials. Now, for item number 4, I have decided to use a different variable. Baka isipin nyo kasi na it only works with the variable x. No. So, here, we will have 4r cubed plus 3r to the 4th power plus r to the 4th power minus 5r raised to 3. Now, as you can see, if you will notice in the first term of the first polynomial, it starts with the exponent of 3. So we need to re rearrange this in standard form, wherein we will start first with the variable with the highest exponent. So instead of copying 4r cubed plus 3r to the 4th power, we will write first 3r raised to the 4th power. And then we have plus 4r cubed. Next, copy this one. So plus r raised to the 4th power minus 5r raised to 3. And then we will add them. Take note, huh? we have here an invisible one. Okay? So we have 3r to the 4th power plus 1r raised to the 4th power. This is 4r raised to the 4th power. And as you can see, we have here different signs. So we will subtract the numbers. 5 minus 4 is 1. Copy the exponent and the variable r raised to 3. And since the absolute value of 5 raised to 3 is greater than the absolute value of 4, raise to 3, we will copy the negative sign and this one this one is not yet final. So what we have here is 4 r to the 4th power minus this coefficient of 1 must be invisible. So this is 4 r to the 4th power r raised to 3. And this is now the answer for item number 4. Now guys, as part of our routine, let me give you an example wherein you will practice what you have learned from this video. I will give you another example. So let's try number 5. I will give you 6a plus 2b minus 7. This is plus. This is plus the quantity of a plus b plus 2. Again, 6a plus 2b minus 7. Oh, I'm going to write it back. 6a plus 2b minus 7 plus a plus b plus 2. So I hope na makita ko sa ating comment section what is your answer in this problem. So I hope guys that you learned something from this video on how to add polynomials. In the next part of our video, we will do subtracting polynomials. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated on our latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!